Here is my dwarf everbearing mulberry here. This guy is about pushing probably about 10 feet, those top branches up there. So this is a dwarf tree and it isn't supposed to get that big, but I found that it still wants to get pretty large if you allow it to. I prune this guy pretty vigorously. It's going into its third year now. And so it just started leafing out recently here as we're pushing into spring here in the Phoenix, Arizona area. And I just recently did another video on some of the easiest fruit trees to grow in hot climates, and this is one of them. So mulberries are extremely easy to grow and grow very vigorously. So if you get any other sort of mulberry other than the dwarf variety, you want to make sure you have adequate space for it because they can get quite large. And so if you aren't gonna prune it or anything, they can make for really good shade trees if you allow them to get large and they grow rapidly. So they are very fast growing trees. And so you wanna consistently water and feed them. And other than that, they are pretty much fine. And this tree, as you can see, I have a guava there next to it and my large ash tree. So it's kind of wedged in here. It isn't really the most ideal spot for this tree, but you know, I figured since it was a dwarf and whatnot, I could make it work right here. And so far it's done okay. And so I wanna get up here a little bit closer. You can see here a lot of the mulberries just all over this tree. This thing is loaded with little mulberries starting to form on it there. There's a good picture there of some. I can just move around the tree. You can just see how this tree is just loaded with berries on it so in about probably about a couple weeks to a month this thing will just be full out berry mode berry production mode and one of the downfalls about this dwarf variety in my opinion is the berries just are really small they're on the small side so it's a great tree for kids my kids just love this tree and love the berries on it and the berries are just right for them but for me, I'd prefer a variety that had a little more size to the berries. Um, there are a few different varieties that do very well here. Shangri-La is another one that has a bigger berry, and that's the one I would recommend. Unless you are tight on space and go with this one here. Or if you have kids, you know, they definitely love this tree. Pakistan is another good one here for our area. And so these guys do go dormant in the winter. They drop all their leaves. So don't be alarmed when that happens in the winter months. And then they will re-leaf out here in the spring and start producing berries March, April-ish. And so this is supposed to produce berries like multiple crops throughout the year. I have yet to see that on this tree. Supposedly when you prune they send out new berries and shoots and stuff, but I've seen the new growth when I prune, but not berries. So this is the first year too that it's really produced this heavy. Last year I got a few berries and I was wondering if my tree was a dud because mulberries tend to produce fairly quickly too, even in the first year. And so I was wondering what was going on, but this year now it's just full out berries on this tree. So sometimes it can just take a couple years for them to get going, it seems like. But yeah, this is a really great tree to grow in hot, dry climates like the desert or any other hot area that you might be in. And these do well in temperate or cooler climates as well. I grew up in northern Michigan and we had mulberries there. So as long as you get the right varieties, you know, these trees do great in a lot of different areas. And so the berries are, are pretty tasty kind of similar to like a blackberry and there you go here dwarf everbearing mulberry these can grow in containers you can container grow these 
I've attempted to grow these in containers, but just end up always putting them in the ground. It seems like, for me anyways, they aren't that happy in a container. You know, I do a lot of other container growing and gardening, and for whatever reason, this, the mulberries just don't look great in the containers. And so I always end up putting them in the ground here. But supposedly you can grow these in containers, the dwarf ones. All right, check me out at gardenofluma.com. Please subscribe to stay updated on the latest videos. I do a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. So definitely subscribe to stay updated and current. And thanks for watching.